hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in this episode we are going to learn about how to create an image slider using the view page or widget first we have to add the needed images into the application so here I have some sample images you can download these images from the developer website copy these images now open Android Studio and paste the images inside the drawable folder click OK now here we have all the images available inside the drawable folder first we have to add the view page or widget into the activity main.xml file I remove this text view the view page or widget is available from Android support library. Support dot v four dot view pager. Specify an ID for the view pager. At plus ID. Name it as view pager. Now specify the height and width for the view pager and draw it layout height specify it as match parent now specify the width specify that one also match parent now we have a view pager available on activity main.xml file so if if the background is a dark one it is better for the slide view so we can change the theme of the application so go to the values folder open up the styles.xml here I am going to change the theme into a dark one so it is now it is a dark theme and there is no need of an action bar so select the theme theme app compact dot no action bar this will gives a dark theme for the application now the theme is dark now we need another layout file represent each of the slide view for that right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file I name it as swipe layout here the root element is the linear layout and click OK now go to the XML version here first we need an image view so add an image view specify an ID for the image view ID plus ID name it as image view now specify the height and width layout height into wrap content now specify the width layout width into match parent here I am going to add a text to view also so add a text to view the text to view will display the position of the image first specify an ID for the text to view ID plus ID name it as image count now specify the width and height layout height into wrap content now specify the width layout width into match parent now put some sample text and row it text hello world okay now make the text into bigger so and row it text size into 25 dp now change the style of the text text style into bold 
Now align the text at the center. So Android gravity into center. Now we have an image view and a text view inside the newly created layout file. Now here I need some margin at the top. So Android margin top into 25 dp. Also I need some space between the image view and the text view. So put some margin for the image view also. And row it margin top into 25 dp. Now we need some separate adapter for the view pager. For that, create a new Java class. Right click the package and create a new Java class. Name it as custom swipe adapter and click OK. Now extends pager adapter. Now here you need to implement some method implement the methods two methods get count and is view from object click OK here we need some other methods first one is instantiate item now need another method destroy item first we have to get the image resources from the drawable folder for that here create some variables is an array image resources equal to and get each of the image resource are dot drawable first one is sample zero now the second one are dot drawable dot sample one there is seven images are available you need to add all the images okay here I add all the image resources now we need some context object name it as ctx now we need some layout inflator some layout inflator variable private layout inflator name it as layout inflator now I need some constructor for this class so public custom swipe adapter with an argument it's a context object name it as ctx now initialize the context object from the constructor so ctx this dot ctx equal to ctx now from the get count method we have to return the number of images so it is available from the length of the string array image resources dot length now from this method we have to return an object that will represent each of these swipe view so from this method first here we have to initialize the layout inflator object layout inflator equal to context it is ctx get system service context dot layout inflator service and typecast this one into layout inflator layout inflator now create some view variable name it as item view equal to layout inflator dot inflate specify the layout R dot layout dot here the layout name is swipe layout now specify the container here the container is the view pager and final one is there is one more argument it is false now we have to create an ob object of image view name it as image view equal to 
item view dot find view by id r dot id dot the identifier is image view type cast this one into image view now we have to create an object of text view name it as text view equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot the identifier is image count and typecast this one into text view now we have to set the resources for the image view and the text view first one is image view dot set image resource and we got the resource from the integer array image resource and use the position argument now we have to set some text on the text view so text view dot set to text image it will represent the position of the image so pass the use the position argument and finally we have to add the view into the container container dot add view item view and finally we have to return the item view object it is item view from this method we have to destroy each of the slide if the user move from one slide to another we have to destroy the previous slides this will free some heap memory so your application will work faster so here we have to remove some item from the container so container dot remove view here it is an object remove view object and here the object is a relative layout this is because our custom layout root element is a linear layout not a relative layout so it is a linear layout okay and here we we have to make some validation if it is equal to view equal to object O and here the object is a linear layout put it in brackets okay now go to the main activity dot Java there is no need of an options menu first create some variable for view pager name it as view pager now we need some object of custom swipe adapter so custom swipe adapter equal to I name it as adapter now initialize all these variables first one is view pager equal to find view by id r dot id dot here the identifier is view pager now typecast this one into view pager now initialize the custom swipe adapter object adapter equal to new custom swipe adapter and pass this as context finally we have to set the adapter for the view pager so view pager dot set adapter here the object is adapter now we finish the coding now we can test the application okay now the application is available on a virtual device now this is the first slide this is the first image the position is zero now I swipe to second image now this is the second image position is one now this is the say third image position is two now the fourth image fifth image sixth image and seventh image this is the seventh image I hope you understand the concepts Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.